Let's write the structure for 3-ethyl-4-methyl-hexane. So when we see that we have this ending here, A-N-E, that tells us that we're going to have an alkane. We're going to have carbons, they're all single bonded and surrounded by hydrogens. For hex, hex is a prefix when we have six. So we're going to have six carbon atoms with single bonds. So let's put those up there and label the carbons one through six. So at this point, we have hexane. For the methyl and the ethyl, that looks like this. Methyl is a CH3, carbon, three hydrogens, and then we have our ethyl, two carbons, surrounded by hydrogens. So what we're going to do is the methyl, that'll go on the fourth carbon, this one right here. The ethyl, that's the two carbons surrounded by hydrogens, that'll go on the third carbon in our hexane chain right here. So let's add those. So this is the structure for 3-ethyl-4-methyl-hexane. We have our longest chain on the third carbon. We have that ethyl group, those two carbons surrounded by hydrogens. On the fourth carbon, we have our methyl group, which is just a CH3. Note that because it's an alkane, everything is single bonded. Each one of these lines here, they go to hydrogen atoms. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 3-ethyl-4-methyl-hexane. If you wanted to write the molecular formula, that would be C9H20. Thanks for watching.